Well, now to a glimpse into the future to see how we'll be living in the year 2040. Apart from death and taxes, there is one other certainty, growth. The population will soar. But where will all these extra people go? How will our city and especially the transport systems cope? And could it force property prices beyond what average people can afford? We've consulted the experts to find out. The structure of Brisbane is likely to radically alter. I think that the result is more likely that we will have high levels of density. Queensland is the place to be at the moment. This is our brave new Brisbane. Your first ever look at what our city will look like in just 16 years. High rises in the suburbs, eight new mini central business districts, a major shopping centres with residential apartment blocks built on top. It's all part of Mayor Campbell Newman's plan for the future. We've been given very clear guidance from the Queensland State Government that we cannot go out so much anymore. We've got to go up. Brisbane is Australia's fastest growing city. 100,000 people move here every year. It's a planner's nightmare. So if you can imagine Brisbane being the same size as Melbourne is today, that's where it's forecast to be. At last count, our population was 1.95 million. By 2040, it'll top 3.6 million. And our lives will be dramatically different. Brian Horatsis is a town planner and has been studying southeast Queensland for 30 years. He says the next 30 will be our most challenging. I don't expect the housing market in 2040 to look like today's housing market. We're going to have a lot of different kinds of products and they could be anything from uh, container type housing all the way through to prefab type housing. Hurdle number one. Number two will be moving everyone around. Brian says we'll need an efficient network of busways, inner city rail. We may even see a return to trams. The infrastructure that's currently being put in place will need to be doubled again. To accommodate those 2,100 people every week, you almost need another 800 to 1,000 homes to be built every week. Mark McCrindle is a demographer and believes all of Queensland will have a population growth spurt. There's a, a mining boom there, there's a jobs boom in Queensland, but it's also got the lifestyle growth. In the regions by 2040, the Gold Coast will hit one million people, the first non-capital in Australia to do so. The Sunshine Coast will have 400,000 people, Toowoomba 200,000, Townsville 275,000 and Cairns 250,000. It's a bit, a bit better lifestyle, it's a slower pace. You don't have the traffic and the infrastructure challenges and, of course, uh, you know, the lifestyle and, and costs are just right. Certain Brisbane suburbs will boom too. Residex property expert John Edwards says there'll be development and population explosion. But one of the biggest changes will be to this area near the airport, earmarked as the engine room of Brisbane, a centre for factories and warehouses. It's the fastest growing industrial project in the South Pacific and will account for thousands of jobs. The mayor believes even with all the extra people, Brisbane will be the best place to live. I think it's going to be a very green city, a very pleasant place to live, um, and I think it's going to be the envy of uh, other cities around Australia. They are some big numbers, aren't they? And for